Guys, what up? It's Carlin. It's coffee time, man. I just took my daughters to school. I just came down to my studio to talk, um, well, to work, but I wanted to say something before I got started. I was watching this video from um, Mike Todd. Some of you guys may know him. He's a um, preacher church called Transformation Church in, I think, Tulsa, Oklahoma. But he was just talking about, like, favor and grace and success and stuff like that and reaching new levels and being in rooms with... Um, people who you know you don't deserve to be in the room with or whatever right so it got me to thinking and i was like man i just want to share on this topic um i know some drummers reach some levels of success and they never really talk about how they feel being on that level so i figure i'll just vent for like two minutes or something um about how i feel about the levels that i've reached or whatever and none of this has to do with like me being arrogant or bragging or whatever, or not about like any of that stuff, right? I've been blessed to do some things like in my career to experience some things. So I know a lot of people don't actually talk about how it feels to be on certain levels. Maybe you talk about it with your inner circle, but I wanted to actually share it, man. I've been blessed to play with uh, Israel Holden. I've been with him for like maybe five years now. Long story short, man, I think that as you reach new levels in your career, you should actually be more humble and more more grateful and more willing to actually share your experience in sorry i'm holding this camera with my hand i think the higher that you go you're you're not really able to put yourself at that at that position if you understand what i'm saying it's like you can't you can't put yourself in these rooms you can't put yourself in these drum chairs you know what i'm saying like there's nothing that i could do to help me play for a Grammy award winning artist. It just kind of happens. I mean, you work hard. That's what you can do in the physical. But after that, it's all just the grace of God. Like the Bible says that time and chance happen to us all. So I believe that everybody gets their shot to move up to another level. And once you handle your business and you do a good job at that level, then naturally you get promoted to the next level, right? That's what happens in corporate America. And it's the same thing in the music industry. So you you get your time, you get your chance, you take care of that level, and then you go to the next level. You get a promotion, you get a bigger gig, you get a bigger position, you go vice president, then your president maybe. Um, I think the higher you climb, I know at least for me, I can speak from my experience, the higher I climb, the more grateful I am because I know that I work hard, but at the same time, hard work, hard work doesn't equal like that you'll always move on to the next level. You just kind of have to be grateful for every level. If that's the last level that you're on, then you be grateful and you serve that level to the best of your ability. Sidebar, at my church yesterday at Bible study, we were in a chapel. My church is big, so we have a dome where there's like tons of people in there, right? But I don't only play hard when I'm in the dome with all the big people and not hard in the chapel. I usually try to key in on one person. I try to find the person that's having the, the best time and I like feed off of their energy. It could be 10 people in the room, but one of those people going to be having a time in their life. It don't matter if you playing at a small club, you know, one person going to be really into it. Find the person that's bopping their head the most. Find the person that's dancing. Key in on them. Like vibe off of their energy, man. It'll help you accept like why it is that you do what you do. You'll understand that it's not about you. Um, but back on the main subject, man, you know, the higher I go, the more grateful I am. Cause I'm like, yo, I can't, I can't put myself on this level from youth band to the main sanctuary or from, you know, the club to an amphitheater or whatever, like be grateful. There's millions of drummers on this planet. And if you're gigging period, there's always somebody that's not gigging. There's always somebody that's not playing live. You know what I'm saying? So. There's always somebody under you. So just be grateful for every position that you have, man. I mean, here's the thing. It's almost like breathing. Like you don't breathe on your own, right? You don't wake up by yourself. That's why you should be grateful every day that you wake up and that you can breathe on your own and that you just woke up, right? It's the same thing. Like you didn't make yourself wake up. You're not breathing on your own. Your heart's not beating on its own. It's God that's making your heart beat, right? And so it's the same thing with success as a musician. Like you're not, you didn't get there on your own. God chose to put you in that, in the position that you're in. And that goes from the smallest church to the freaking biggest mega church. That goes from the smallest club to the biggest arena. You know what I'm saying? Like any opportunity that you get to graduate from one level to the next, it don't matter if you're going to one to level two, you should be grateful for that because there's tons of drummers out there. You feel me? Like there's so many drummers 
that could be doing what you're doing right now. There's so many musicians, so many singers that could be doing what you're doing right now. And if you get picked to go to the next level, you should be grateful because there's somebody else that could be doing what you're doing. So you can't be arrogant. You can't be conceited like you did this by yourself. We need people. We need God. Whatever you believe in, the universe, I believe in God, but whatever you like, you just know that it didn't happen on your own. It's by time and chance, the Bible said it, that you actually got to be where you are, man. Like, I'm just saying, like, the higher I go, the more grateful I am. The higher that anybody goes, the, the more grateful you can, you should be because that pyramid, it gets slimmer and slimmer as you go to the top. So if you go to the next level, Man, you should be super grateful. Like, man, I'm here. It could be a million people. That's where I am. Like, I'm playing in youth church or I'm playing this small gig. There's other drummers that could have been called. You know what I'm saying? Oh, I get to play here. There's other drummer. There's other musicians that could have been called for this. But I'm just super grateful for this opportunity. And I think you just got to stay grateful, man. That's how you stay humble. Um, you got to appreciate every opportunity you get to play. Focus on that one person in the room that's having a time of their life while you up there playing or singing or whatever. And realize that's your purpose, to bring that person joy. Take the attention off of yourself. Just be grateful, man, for every opportunity. So I hope that helps somebody. I usually put these in my Instagram stories, but I want to start going bigger with these things and putting them on YouTube where the whole world can access it. So. Um, but I do drop little stuff like this all the time in my stories on Instagram. So, um, so follow me on Instagram. I'll talk to you guys later. All right. Peace.